Blasting our way to dessert. Thanksgiving brings the family together again, and eating, drinking, and being merry still seems like a good idea. But it's early. Inevitably, politics comes up, because politics always comes up. Politics loosely defined as differing opinions about mostly everything. Each family member simply wants to be accepted for who and what they are by the rest of the family. It seems like a simple enough proposition, but this is never going to happen. Sharing the same genes is not the same as sharing the same views. Genes and views are forged in completely different ways. Genes happen below the surface, without our knowledge, strands of DNA twisting in the winds of molecular biology to form most of what we are. Views happen exactly at the surface where the outside world touches the inside world at eye level, and information transfer from out there to in here, ideas being wound empirically on the spools of epistemological philosophy. An individual family member will likely try an idea or two out before the whole family, make an argument, try a defense of that nascent argument. This is dangerous. Of course, sterner voices will prevail. After all, it is your parents' house. And the older generation will never want to hear it. Power centers have been established long before the kids were born. They don't want you to be different, too liberal, or filled with new ideas at college. So we blast our way to dessert. Mouths cocked and loaded. There are many points of view. No one listens to anyone else. This isn't a time for listening. This is a time for telling and telling off and passing the mashed potatoes. It's loud. Some members get hurt. Some members try to mend. Some members retire to the living room to watch football on TV and fall asleep on the couch. No one will remember what was said. Years later, no one ever remembers what was said. We remember the angry faces, too much alcohol, and certain inflexibility or intolerant attitudes. We remember who we want to be with and who we want to avoid, but usually not why. This is good that the details usually get forgotten. Forgetting allows us to reunite. It allows Thanksgiving to go on throughout the years. It gives opportunity for family to try again next year. Next year might be different. And don't forget, Christmas is coming.